we're going to go through sketching out uh, the cheese grater. So the design you come up with doesn't really matter, but we're just going to go through the kind of method for coming up with any kind of uh, design at all. So in other words, we want to go through how we'd go about sketching out a design. First thing when you come up with a design is you'd normally give it a, a name, a working title as it might be called. It might be the final name. So I've just given this the name Twister Grater. That will just give an idea of the design I'm going to go through. Every sketch we design is normally based on an isometric sketch. So in other words, what an isometric sketch means is we're going to base it on a line that starts off vertical, one going to the left and right at 30 degrees. So I've drawn a 30 degree line out there, 30 degree line out there. Now, I'm not using a T-square here. I'm just drawing roughly 30 degree lines. So in other words, they don't need to be exact. If you have only a ruler, you can draw what you need, think is a 30 degree line. The important thing though is the rest of the lines I'm going to draw are all going to be done parallel to these lines. So I'm going to have a cylindrical shaped cheese grater and I'm going to put that into a box that I've drawn in isometric. So I'm going to start off by drawing a box in isometric. It's what we normally start. So for the top line, I'm going to go parallel to the bottom line as best I can. And I'm going to take a line out there. These are all kind of construction lines. I'll take a line out here. And for it being a cylinder, it's going to be square. So I'm going to just measure back here 40. And I'm going to measure back here 40. I'm going to make a diamond shape to show the top of the box. So again, here is my line I've drawn on top. I'm going to go parallel or as close to parallel as I can. Turn it over. And again, I'm going to go parallel to the first line or close to parallel as I can. Now I've got the rough shape of the top line. Likewise, the sides of it, here is my vertical line. I'm going to come down here vertical. I could also measure 40. I measured 40 back on top. I could just measure 40 back here in the bottom. So I'll do the same on this side. 40 back here. And again, everything is done in construction lines. Okay, so I've got the basic box drawn out that I'm going to use. We want to draw a circle in isometric. To do that, I'm going to get this line. I'm going to get the middle of it. So I'm going to measure halfway, which is 20. Measure in here, 20. I'm going to put on a set of construction lines or center lines as they'd be called. So I'm just going to divide this up again parallel to the sides. And what that's doing is giving me the four points for the outside of the circle. This circle isn't going to look like the circle. It's going to look squashed up. So when I go and draw it, I'm going to start off with the sides here. I need to aim towards the points. So here and here and here. So I need to roughly sketch in a circle. And like I said, it's not going to be a regular circle. It's going to be out of shape. And you might have to go over it four or five times. So that's roughly the shape. I'm going to fix it up a little bit because it's a bit uh, pointy here. All right, so I fixed that up. And now I need to put the same down on the bottom. So again, these are all construction lines. I'm just building up the outer shape. So as I've got the point, I've taken this point straight down basically, so construction line going down there, and this point straight down, construction line down there. And I'm going to take the outer edge, so the outer edge is here where it's going to disappear, and the outer edge here where it disappears. And I'm just going to kind of copy the shape that's up on top here. So here is the top of the shape, and I'm going to fade it into the vertical line. There it's faded in, and that is the general shape of the cylinder drawn in. That is the basis for my cheese grater. Now for my design then, I'm going to just put a second disc here, and I'm going to show this is where the grater section is. So I'll just put in a series of points for the grater section, or the holes, and that's going to be my metal disc. Next, I want to put a handle at the side here. Again, I'm going to uh, draw an isometric box to begin with. So I've started off with just the shape of the end of it here. And again, I'm going to take my 30 degree lines out. So out of 30 degrees with the first one, out of 30 degrees with the second one, out of 30 degrees with the third one. So in other words, I've got a handle coming out of that here. To cut it off again, I'm using my 30 degree lines and I'll just cut it off out here someplace. 
put it off down here. So there is my handle drawn in. I'll draw in a rough cylinder with something so small I'm not going to worry about uh, it being a perfect cylinder. So I'm going to draw in just a rough shape of a cylinder here. So that'll be my handle coming up. And you could even draw it widening out as well, just to show it. And then I'll put a cylindrical shape on top there. So that'll be the shape of the handle. So in other words, I'll have a handle that'll wind. I want to put a spring down in here. And for the spring, I'm going to just put a construction line down either side because I want the spring an even width the same way all the way down. So when I sketch down along here, I'm going to sketch in a spring shape. And I'm going to be trying to copy the shape. And I'm trying to hit the spring off either line that I've drawn left and right. And there's my spring shape gone in. And then I'm going to draw a disc that that attaches onto outside it. Now you'll see all of this is basically construction. So I'm drawn on top of what I've drawn already. So there is my disc drawn in. And I want to give it a bit of width, so I'll put a second line around there. So what I've got is the makings of my lid. I've got my handle. I've got my spring. I've got a disc. And I've got my greater section on the bottom. I'm going to go darken in the bits I want. So the bits that are hidden from detail, I'm not going to see. And I'll darken in everything with a good dark pencil now. So everything I've been drawing up until now has been with a H pencil and I've been drawing fairly light. I'm going to use like a 2B pencil now to go back over all this. And I'm going to go over everything freehand. So in other words, to make it look like a nice sketch, I'll basically work over everything. So it was a construction lines up until now. It'll be all freehand now. And so for example up here, I'll be going back over it. And the idea is that I've based it all on geometry, so in other words isometric drawing, but I'm going back over everything now freehand to make it look like a nice neat sketch. So this is if you're like me and you struggle just drawing from the kind of art point of view. I was bad at art in school. So that's why I'd be doing this. So I'm basing it on tech graphics and then making it look like a sketch. Okay, I'll darken in everything there now. Okay, so I've got a rough sketch done there. The problem I have now though is that there's a lot of questions still to be answered there. If I just gave somebody this sketch, they wouldn't exactly understand the design. So now I'm going to put in the notes uh, that are going to go along with it to explain the design. This is my finished sketch. So, so I've darkened it in. I've used a little bit of colour, so light shading, not really dark shading with colour and pencils. The little bit of yellow makes it look like it's uh, on a surface. And then I've got my notes. So it says the greater is uh, the greater at home is very messy. The base is screwed off, uh, and the cheese is placed in the glass tube. Then I have the handle is turned, which will spin the cheese in the grater. So your the the handle turning will spin the cheese, and then the cheese falls out the bottom into a bowl, which reduces the mess. Along with that, though, I've labelled the main part. So I've got the handle that turns the grater. I've shown that it'll rotate. I've got a plastic top. This is a glass tube. I've got a spring-loaded grater, I've got a stationary grater, and I've got a base that screws off. So in other words, anything that I referred to in my notes on how it worked, I've highlighted over here and showed how it works. That is a good design sketch. It doesn't need to be complicated, and you don't need to worry whether it'll work or not. I've no idea whether this grater would actually work. It probably wouldn't, but it's an innovative design. So in other words, it's a bit of an original design uh, that I've come up with. So give it a go, see can you do something similar.